go around the world and 80 chilies. <laughs> what? <laughs> They're here okay. to discuss the science of hot, 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 hot sauce. Hot, hot. Is Dan Kohler? Hey. Right. Hi, sir. Hey, Hi. Hi. I hear you guys are already dipping in. So yeah, go we are. Ahead. We'll it's get so to hot. The I want you to start Love diving it. in. Okay. Uh, chili peppers are fascinating. What makes them hot is a chemical compound called capsaicin, and capsaicin binds to the pain receptors in your tongue and sends a signal to your brain that your tongue's on fire. It's not. It's in not. fact, no physical damage is happening. So that's what's really cool about this. It's actually, literally, all in your head. Well, why? Why do when you have that hot stuff in your mouth? Why do you feel like you just it's so yeah. pain? It hurts. You tell your brain that it your doesn't brain is hurt? so. And how do you want to? How do we get rid of that? Yeah. If you are scared of things that are too hot or you really don't like it, most of the capsaicin is in the seeds, the yep. seeds and the ribs. It's mostly in the ribs. So here's how you get rid of that. Can you see this? You got that? Great. Yeah. We're gonna cut right around here. Well, I like it hot. Well, then no. leave them in. That's okay. What your husband tells us. <laughs> oh, hey. All right. All right. Okay. You got right. You heard me. Yeah. So that is significantly right less Minimum. hot. <laughs> okay. Now, why do we like hot food? So we as why? humans originally ate cold food. We were foragers, right, like every other animal. Uh -huh. And then we developed fire. And as we developed fire and started to cook our foods, we really started to crave that sensation of hot food, food that had been grilled or food that had been exposed to extreme heat and that sensation on our tongue. So we began to chase foods that mimic that. Capsaicin in your brain mimics exactly the sensation of fire. There's just no physical damage. Now, we are the only creatures on Earth that actually do this because most animals either don't have the pain receptors to even acknowledge that they're eating something spicy, or the minute they bite into it and they taste that chemical, they think they're eating poison. Capsaicin was most likely developed in the botanical world as a poison. They don't, the plants don't want to be eaten. They want to, pro, they want to prolong their lives. But, uh, I have a question. If this is all in our head, right? Yes. You said this is all in your head. It is. My son can eat the hottest yeah. thing on the planet. <laughs> Yeah. He's got and he's damage. okay. Does that mean he has nothing in his head? It means he's got even more in his head. It means he's got even more. So here, why are we chasing? Why do people love? He, your son must love spicy food. Oh my God! He can a bottle of whatever. Right. So what's happening there? In your brain, the layers that do pain and pleasure greatly overlap. Okay. So these are nerve endings that are right in your in your brain stem. When you eat something hot, you're getting a huge release of endorphins. Why? Because first of all, you're triggering pain. You're getting this sensation of pain, which which releases endorphins, and then you're getting pleasure because you've actually accomplished something. You've gotten through a difficult task, oh and that God, sense of relief. Therapy. You get oh this rush. <laughs> you get this rush of endorphins. So that's why you find some people who just can't get enough hot food. Haven't like you ever taken a, a, a swallow of wasabi? Wasabi and it goes right up through your nose. It's so painful. It is, but wasabi is not capsaicin. That is isothiocyanite. That's a oh, different, that's a different wow. story. We'll get to that in a different. What's the hottest segment. pepper ever in the world? That, well, there's a ghost uh, pepper. The ghost pepper is up there, but it's not the hottest. Now we what should is? actually talk about hot pot, hot sauces around okay. the world because okay. you've got a couple there. They're not unique to one country. In America, we oh, have things so that are laced with vinegar. Debbie. As you move south, <laughs> you start to cut the vinegar and add really uh, some smoky chipotle peppers. Now peppers went from South America across the ocean with the Spanish. Conquistadors, they brought them to Northern Africa. So you have that, you've got some harissa, and that's what we have right here. My brain is telling me this it is hurts. Really good. Harissa My brain is telling me it right Which here one? to Morocco. Which one in the jar? Right here. Yeah, that's the, this one. That's from Morocco. Which now, as guy? we move east, we start to get things that are a little funkier. So we hit some baal, which has got some garlic in it. And it's sweet. This one. This guy. Now, as we go even further, yeah, Vietnam good. and Thailand, we start to get fish sauce yeah, and fermented, fermented shrimp paste in there. Then it gets even funkier. We go to Korea, and the, the actual hot sauce is fermented. Now, my favorite one, which is what you've got in that little dish and what I have here, the green one? comes from the Caribbean, and this is okay. called jerk. Oh. So I'm, I'm I, sure I seriously have a I know you have your thing to get through, but my concern is this. Please. My son loves hot stuff, and if it really is just sort of in his head, what does it do to his body? Yeah. yeah. Like, am I, like, or what point is his gut going to be rotted out yeah. because he eats so much hot food? Well, but this is the interesting thing about it. Like I said before, there's actually no physical damage from capsaicin. It is, it is. Even in your it intestines? Binds to your, it your binds to your, your pain receptors, but it doesn't actually cause physical damage. Isothiocyanites, the things we find in uh, wasabi, which we can you know, get to another yeah. day, those in great amounts actually can cause physical damage. But this is literally all in your head. That's what's amazing about chili peppers. They're, they're a trick, they're a trick. They, you think something's on fire, and then you come away and you realize that you've gotten through something well, amazing. Why, why do you have to? By the way, we're gonna put everything that you just put in there on our website, so. Yeah, okay. Why does yogurt then take away the burn if it's just the in my head? Yeah, Lactic the dairy. Acid. What? What? <laughs> so there's a, a couple. There are a couple of things that disrupt.
chili pepper, they disrupt capsaicin. We have something called the Scoville, the Scoville uh, unit. A Scoville is how we measure chili peppers. Developed by Wilbur Scoville in 1912. A Scoville is actually a measure of the amount of sugar in solution that it takes to disrupt the connection between capsaicin and pain receptor. So there are a few things that can disrupt that. But I think for now, that's all we have time yeah, for. Sugar. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, I heard sugar this is the best so. thing. To it is. For food. What's in there? Uh, what is that? This is this is my recipe for jerk. You can find this online. Okay. It comes from the Caribbean. It's got scallions and thyme and Scotch bonnets it's and delicious. brown sugar and lime. It's delicious. Couldn't be better. It's it's so all right. If you want the recipe? Check out our website at renegadekitchen.com. Thank you, Dan. You're Thank always you. blowing my mind. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna come back. We're gonna step out <laughs> in the garage with Paige. Hey. hey guys, I am going to show you how to make a tool organizer DIY style. You'll never lose a tool again.